You've been covering the Aspen Ideas Festival this week, underway from Aspen, Colorado. The event bringing together public officials, artists, scientists, and of course, business leaders to find new solutions to pressing issues. We'll be bringing you extensive coverage of the event, continuing that coverage. But joining us now, Labor Secretary Hilda Solis. She was attending a panel called Where Are the Jobs in America's Future? And she's been gracious enough to join us here on Bloomberg to talk about that. Madam Secretary, welcome back to Bloomberg News. Always good to have you on. Thank you so much. Uh, Ma'am, talk to us about that panel. What were some of the concerns that were expressed by those who find themselves right now at, at a position here in the United States where the unemployment is still hovering near 10 percent? Where are the jobs for the future? Well, we talked about the fact that this is an unprecedented level of people who've been out of work for so long, 15 million people that are unemployed. But to be sure, we talked about where the new jobs are coming and renewable energy. And being right here in Aspen, you know this is kind of one of those areas where a, a lot of uh, how could I say, energy is being uh, provided and, and uh, concepts and ideas about how to build out renewable energy. And Colorado is one of those lead places that's been involved in this for many years, for decades. And the president has also provided support, incentives through policy decisions and through federal funding to help start up programs, not just programs, but businesses and entrepreneurships in green energy, renewable energy, hybrid, wind. Right. In fact, I'm wearing one of my little, uh, my little, um, I don't want to say badge, but I just visited a community college here in Pueblo, Colorado, and they are partnering with a wind turbine engine right. company, and they're building out uh, these wind, you know, wind uh, turbines that are going to provide energy for people across the country and the globe. And they created over 500 jobs Sec that exist in the industry, Secretary and we're Solis? helping to couple that with some of our money. I mean, but how many jobs are we talking about here in renewables? I mean, renewables are great. I have to admit, I'm a fan, but at the same time. I mean, what about all of the other industries in the U.S. that have lost no, so many I, jobs and haven't, right. haven't replaced them? You're I mean, absolutely what, right. What are going to be the initiatives right. to really target those industries? Well, I think there was a consensus that we should be focusing in on infrastructure jobs, so light rail, high speed, even sewage construction, retrofitting, uh, more, more uh, funding to help expand that because that's an immediate concern that we have now, getting people out to work. And there is an extender bill that's in the Senate that we're waiting to see what is going to happen because there's some tax credit for businesses, for R&D, research and development, but also the extension of the unemployment benefits that right now about 3 million people are going to be affected if right. they don't get that extension and that's only temporary and, keep and, in mind that's only temporary and madam secretary might i ask you about that because that's a very sensitive point on capitol hill part of the argument is that if unemployment benefits are extended that's less of an incentive for some people to actually go out not and true. look for work could I, I, I take it you disagree with that mm. I totally do because they're required if they're drawing down unemployment insurance that they have to seek employment. So they have to call in and also give notification as to what industries or employers they are meeting with or talking to. So that coupled with also training programs that we've offered for unemployed people, they can look for work, search for it, but also get into job training, into health care, IT, broadband and renewable energy. I'm curious, uh, is there any concern that if the extension is granted that the unemployment rate will then continue to track higher? I mean, J.P. Morgan, for example, says because of the prior extension that the unemployment rate is a full one and a half percentage points higher than it otherwise would be. Well, I'm not an economist, but I will tell you that right now our markets are very tight. Financial institutions aren't lending as much, and so therefore businesses aren't able to expand. And what they're doing is you're seeing more people working longer hours, but you're not seeing businesses quite making the decision to expand and bring new people on. So what we've done in the Department of Labor is incentivize businesses to take advantage of a program we have that's called on-the-job training. We'll pay and subsidize for education and training while they keep that employee in place so they don't lose that employee and then hopefully lose that brain trust because they can't keep that person on their payroll. We will help to subsidize that. That's a program we offer through the Department of Labor. All right, Madam Secretary, we appreciate your time. Labor Secretary Hilda Solis joining us from Aspen, Colorado. Um, Secretary Solis, thank, thank you. you so much.